too. I'm more than happy with it. I'm extremely pleased. I think we've done really well for ourselves. Yeah, we've got a we've got a good total now to to keep, and you know we're we're looking forward to getting stuck in and seeing if we can get them out. We're very nice going as planned, as planned, as expected. Around 130, we thought they make 135. Very nice, very very nice. Yeah. Uh, yes, first of all, I've got to say how how enjoyable it is. Um, and you have to say you have to give the band a bit of congratulations, especially John Isley for a fine knock. Yes, um, a lot better than I expected. And, um, congratulations to our bowlers who worked really hard throughout the uh, innings, and um, pretty confident that we're going to knock these up with a couple of overs this bit. It's hot. It's, it's hot. very hot. Yeah. The band are going to sweat all afternoon, and they'll be lucky if they get us all out. Yeah. What do you think about uh, the crew performance so far, then? Oh, it's pretty good. You know, a few yeah. missed catches, but generally yeah. a pretty good performance all round, really. What do you think about uh, your, your friend Chess Harrington's uh, stunning bowling? Oh, absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Is it better than his lighting design? No comment. <laughs> There's a bit of a leading question, Paul. You're trying to get me sacked. Um, well, the first couple of balls were very wide, and then um, I seemed to get my line, and then uh, took uh, two relatively straight balls, they were. Just straight down, took the uh, off stump both yeah. times. So, so all kitted up for the game, now, wasn't you, Paul? Um, we just wanted, you know, well, what, what your comments here. are about your, your boys, here. how you think I'm they're performing, and, say and are you impressed? He's speechless. We can see he's impressed there. Well, how do you, how do you, uh, any favourites in the team for you so far? I see. That's a waste of time, Avital. Well, I'm still sticking to the prediction that I gave Ian Chappell, right? I think we're going to win by about six six wickets. Yes. Hey, what, what do you think about the, the, the band's performance so far? Oh. Ah. Um... Uh, I haven't been here. Yeah, I, I haven't been to bed. Uh, well, and why was that? This man, uh, hello. Make something up, yeah. The, what's it? What's it? I can't make something up. Um, where have I been? I've been to the West Indies. You've been to the West Indies. I see, yeah. Via uh, via Elizabeth Bay. Yeah. What do you think about the the uh, the cruise the cruise chances of uh, don't do that? It'll fuck the sound up. <laughs> what do you think about the, uh, the the band's chances of winning the match then? God, you're a good-looking boy. Oh, no. <laughs> I can see myself in your glasses. Um, the, what was that? Uh, what do you think about the, uh, the band's chances of winning? <laughs> um, I think that they're probably nil. No, no, what am I saying? Good. 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 Do you want to um, go want, back there? Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Come on, then. <laughs> so, uh, Alan, there. Alan, this uh, seems to be a little bit of uh, uh -huh. uh, talk in the ranks here that about... Uh, uh, the possibility you may have dropped that catch. Uh, oh no, no, no! From from Alf Sam. Alf seems uh, convinced. It was caught for a second, and what? W and I did drop it when I'm, I hit the ground, and it winded me because I landed on my back. Pfft, just yeah. dropping the ball. But yeah. No, it was definitely a, a clean catch. A clean honest, catch. An honest catch. Really. As soon as he hit the ground, it fell right out of his hands, and even the other umpire, Andy White, said to me, "A dodgy decision, you know." Yeah. And some people would do anything to win. Just as we were going so well, they thought we'd better give him out just to give the band a bit of a chance. We, uh, as I say, both umps were perfectly happy with the catch. We were happy with the catch. Oh, well, great. Well, I heard a story that one of the umpires wasn't happy with the catch. I thought it was a brilliant, slip, a brilliant slip catch. No, I never heard that story. That We'll have to investigate that one afterwards. But uh, things are looking very, very good indeed. In fact, I'm looking forward to picking up quite a lot of money this afternoon. Absolutely brilliant attempt. I think it was a legitimate catch? No, because the, ba the, the catcher of the ball has got to be in full control of his body with the ball in his hand. That means on his feet or laying on his back. As he laid on his back, ball rolled out of his hands. I've Not spoken a... to Alan and uh, he uh, gives me his word that it was a, a fair catch. Yes, but he's a windsurfer. <laughs> it was taken cleanly. Uh, Possibly came to ground when he hit the ground. That's that's about it. I'd say the way I but saw it. You didn't it. actually have a clear view from where you were standing. No, um, the wicketkeeper rushed into position to get between me and the fielder. They're scared, so they have to cheat. It's the only way they're going to win. <laughs> victory. Crew all out for 79. Guy Fletcher gets his first wicket. Peter Brewis is out without scoring. Gary Lewis remains one not out. So the band having made 135. 
comfortable 56 run victory. Best bowlers for the band. Barry Murphy uh, getting three wickets. Skippy uh, picking up a couple. Chris White getting two. Paul Cummins one and Guy Fletcher getting the last wicket. And probably the feature of that uh, second innings was the great fielding of the band. Some good catches taken. And that was perhaps the difference between the sides, the two sides, apart from the occasional umpiring decision. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. The Played in a fantastic thing, yeah. spirit. Yeah, the, the whole the whole atmosphere and the whole day is, has been incredible. You know, the, all the work both sides have put in before has paid off. You know, we've all had a great day. What what, what sort of work was that then? That was pr hard practice in the nets, bowling, batting, and fielding. And going to bed before three o'clock a.m. Um, only just, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all, all the guys turned out for practice, all, all the band team, you know, there's, there's lots of things to do, but they all, they all put a few hours aside, came down and brushed up on bowling and batting right. and catching, and it's really paid so, off. So what were the highlights of the game for you then, Rob? Um, the highlight of the game, I think, was Alan's catch. I thought that was absolutely incredible. I really did think it was brilliant. Yeah, brilliant I thought reflex and the speed it came off the bat was... Stupendous. Fantastic. It doesn't matter that he dropped it. <laughs> he hung on to it for long <laughs> enough, Robert, don't worry. So, thanks, Sam. Well done. Thank you. Best in one. Yeah. Good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. 56 runs. Okay. The inaugural Dire Straits Australian Tour Challenge Trophy. Fantastic. Well done. Well played, everyone. Skip, uh, I think the big difference between the two sides was the fielding. Yeah, um, you know, we fielded, fielded very well and we took our catches and uh, you know, the catching was fantastic. And with the little amount of practice we've had, I thought, you know, we gave a, an excellent account of ourselves, both batting, fielding and bowling. When you consider there's a lot of guys in our side who haven't played cricket for knocking on for 20 years. And... Yeah, hang on, Skip. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's only me, I mean. These... <laughs> but, um, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, we've, well, we've practised hard and, uh, you know, we've all shown up for nets and that and got stuck in and, whoops. <laughs> and, you know, it's a, this is a great result. You know, we, we didn't know what the crew were, were going to be like. They didn't know what we were going to be like, but, you know, we, we just got stuck in and, you know, had a bit of luck as well. <laughs> what, but, what, what about a uh, couple of umpiring decisions we'd have um, to talk I, about? There one LBW and perhaps a quarter at first slip. Would I, you I, like to discuss those a little? I thought the umpires stood out for their sheer honesty the and that. unbiasedness, Ian. You know, I really did. I thought they were great. <laughs> <laughs> and a large drink for him in the bar tonight, if they turn up. <laughs> Mark, uh, I didn't realise your talents extended to juggling. Yeah, well, we've been practising with oranges and things. You know, we've been down the gigs and... Uh, Actually, I stood on a sprinkler, as somebody was telling me, when I, uh, and uh, it un unbalanced me a bit. But, I mean, if you hang on to them, they ha you hang on to them, and that's what counts. So, another wicket down. Mate, we've put it forward for the classic catches for season 1986-1987. Uh, well, I'll try and sort out some music for you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Any thoughts of changing from a guitar to a bat? Uh, I tell you what, it's, it's, it's so nice to play in a place like this with uh, a bunch of good blokes and... Uh, I'm sort of hooked, you know, really like, really enjoy it. It's a great way to spend a day, a nice day. It really is. You, you sort of forget, you know, the, uh, just how great it is, what a good time it is. I mean, I thought everybody played really well. I thought the crew did really well too. I thought um, it's just great the way everybody sort of got into a bit of practice, a bit of nets and throwing the ball around. And, and everybody played great, I thought. Really, really good account of themselves. Well, there's a short message from the opposing captain, Rob Collins. He says it's only a lend. He said, just remember that this is the first of five uh, series. Yeah, but he's still got to pay up. A lot of money on this game, There's a few bucks yeah. coming. A few bucks outstanding, are they? Yeah. 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 Good help. Yeah.